back into the field house here in Lexington, guys. You just bumped Rap Sheet, dude. Yeah. I mean, he's going to be, he's he's on you. Okay. He's on your tail, man. Yeah. Will Levis, uh, obviously, is dripping from that workout. David Carr, our Not quarterback, right? Um, okay, so you put it on display, right? What, yeah. what? Uh, let's start off. What did you accomplish here today in showing folks? Yeah, it was fun. I mean, I think just getting every bag, every club in my bag put on display, you know, just yeah. all the different types of throws, whether it's short, long, on the yeah. run, uh, on a line, mm -hmm. with some touch. I think I covered all bases, and I uh, thought I did a pretty good job and had a lot of fun throwing with uh, my receivers. It looked great, year. man. You know what's funny about the pro day is a lot of times they put you, in, and Jordan did a good job of putting you in positions that you probably didn't spend a lot of time under center, mm -hmm. doing different stuff with your feet. I saw you working through progressions. What was the, what was the, the emphasis on as far as that goes? And then, like, what were you most comfortable? Because I know where you were most comfortable. You can see it at 15, 20, 30-yard range. Like, the ball pops out of your hand. It looks like you got a good rhythm there. Like, just kind of walk us through the ideas of yeah. the workout. I think that a lot of the work that I've been uh, doing with Jordan over the past eight weeks has been just mechanics of movement, opposed yeah. to even throwing mechanics. Yeah, just right. throw, just moving efficiently and being able to come off a fake or come off a movement or a um, off-platform throw good. in a way to put yourself in the best position to deliver the ball in a consistent manner. So, a lot of the times when I'm missing throws, I'm not doing that. So our guys back at the studio, they want to know about the flip. I'm trying to explain it to them, like, why you flip the ball. You're trying to find the right grip on the laces. Like, you have a preferred side, or you just do it out of habit. What is just it? Just one of the balls was a little slicker today. Yeah. And I was just okay. like, I, at one side where my thumb was, I was like, I don't really like it. So I just flipped it back Got to the it. other one. And um, a couple of the ones that were wobbling, like, yeah, it just happens. But you try to get the right feel. Right? You, know, you know what else they wanted to know? Will, was the, the gun show that you put on with the, the sleeveless wardrobe decision today? The question was that, sleeveless. yeah, we, said, no, we, I, I, we I, loved I, it. I only wore, I've only off. worn uh, sleeveless as my undershirt for, right. I mean, uh, unless it's like a really uh, cold game, but that's all I ever do. Just doing so. what you've always Huge done. fan exactly. showed it off. Is it nuts to you, Will, that people are like, this guy's too big to come into the NFL and play <sighs> quarterback? Like, if you were if you were 10 pounds lighter, they'd be saying he's got to put on 10 pounds to yeah. play in the NFL. What, what is your reaction to that? Who cares? I mean, <laughs> I think it's a compliment. You know, I take yeah. it as a compliment. And the fact that I don't look like most quarterbacks, I think, is a good thing. Let sure. me ask you, Will, like schematically, you talked to all these teams. Have you let your brain wander to like, OK, if I go here, this is what they'll ask me to do. If I go here, like if you guys talked about that, have you thought about that scheme fit wise or no. where you'd like to play? Uh, a little bit. Uh, I think that's something kind of that I'll think a lot more about getting as we get closer. Sure. I think in the, in the few weeks leading up to the draft and as I'm going on my top 30 visits. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking forward to, to dialing you on that. You had good conversations with some of these coaching staff? Yeah, yeah. yeah, good. About a lot. About a, good. Obviously, the Combine had a lot of good uh, meetings there and then um, had, a, had a few meetings since then as well. So I'm, I'm, really glad, I'm, I'm, I'm glad David brought that up because what's really fascinating about you, Will, is you go from Liam Cohen, L Liam Cohen, your offensive coordinator in 21, mm -hmm. to Rich Gangarello, both NFL guys, right, two variations in pro style offenses so that the, the terminology right is such a benefit for you what has that been like to be able to uh, sort of I, I would say gain so much wealth before you actually head into the NFL in terms of that per ter terminology yeah it's definitely one of the reasons why I came to Kentucky in the first place I thought mm -hmm. that not only was it going to prepare me for what the offenses that I'm going to be running at the next level are but I think it also plays my strengths I think this is the type of offense where my type of passer of quarterback just can can thrive and can uh, show off the, what they're good at. So that along with I've had four offensive coordinators in my college career and the fact that there is that wow. turnover is also a little bit of uh, an advantage I think. Just that I'm understanding of knowing how to learn a, a system and, and having turnover which always happens in the NFL. So yeah. I was talking to some of the staff here in Kentucky and they say that you do everything with purpose. Mm. We know that you put mayonnaise in your coffee. Do you eat <laughs> full whole shrimp? On I purpose as well. I don't put mayonnaise in my coffee. Okay. Let's 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 debunk put that, that to it. Let's fine. put that okay. to a stop. It was just Doesn't a joke. Do that. But anyways, uh, so how about a whole no. shrimp? You, you Absolutely not. Entire whole shrimp. Absolutely not. You pop that sucker. Out. Okay, pops. So all right. So Red, you got he, bad information. He's, he's a character. With me. He's a character. He's playing a game. He's messing with you, right. Red. That's what he was doing and, the entire time. And mom and dad were here too. Before we throw it back, just oh my gosh, Beth and say, Mike. Shout out to my mom and dad, even though they're right over there. But I mean. <laughs> My biggest supporters, they've been uh, the, your dad was the working biggest through part it, of like, I don't know if he was sweating like me. this, but he was definitely working through it. He had to go <laughs> he was outside more nervous a couple than times. I was. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was for sure. Yeah, we've heard nothing but great things. We've seen the great things on the field. Will, thank you.